All right, all right, man. That's 12 rounds in the bag. And I think this should be a Jack Catterall victory. I thought he handled this uh, uh, fight here very in easily against um, Jorge Linares, man. And really, it was nothing Jorge can do with him. And this guy just stayed very patient in this fight. Heard Jorge many times in the bout. And I just like everything that I've seen from um, Jack Catterall. And, you know, everything that he uses the jab head for with the lead hand, man. He'll use the lead hand to kind of use it to blind the direction of a shot to kind of throw off Linares's defensive ability to get out the way of shots. He'll use the jab, the lead jab hand, throw it in the line of sight from where Linares needs to find to be able to utilize his sight to see where punches are coming from. And Catterall would just roll that lead hand out there. He did it for about from rounds three to four, and then where he hurt Linares in that round, where he'll just roll the lead hand. He was rolling. I kept peeping him doing that shit. Roll that lead hand right in line to where Linares's line of sight is to see things get out the way. He'd just roll that jab hand, put it right in the space of vision. Just kept rolling it, left hands would come around whenever he decided to. He was doing that for about two good rounds. Then he'll shift over to about round six or seven, and he start working to the body. Let me hear these scorecards. 116-112. Easy win. Easy win, Catterall. And Lenaris knows this. He points over. For they name the fight, he walks over the hug, Catterall. He knows what it is. Good work there from Catterall, but back to it. So then he'll start working the jabs down to the body, start working shots down to the body, open them up, then go up to the head, finding opportunities to just put on combinations and just work from there. Got good 12 rounds in and to go off into a real easy victory, man. But uh, he's looking to get himself back in the position. This is all this fight was, get some good rounds in. And see who's out there, being that Josh Taylor has ducked him. And Josh Taylor has really went out like a sucker after what Catterall did to him in the first fight. To see them almost locked into a rematch. And then you watch Josh Taylor fake an injury. And then when they're in, in the same venue together, to watch Josh Taylor to act like he had a foot injury, to act like to, to get upset and mad enough because of how tarnished his image became when he got out of the fight to try to rush him uh, uh, at the fight event, only to take the Tiafimo fight and get himself embarrassed. So we're going to see Catterall, uh, see who else is going to step up at 140 to fight him, man. But uh, that was a good win for Jack Catterall, and that's all I got. Catch you guys. Peace.